Hey YouTube, um, here's a little bit of an update and something new. That's right, something new. Um, anyways, so the update I have ordered, um, or I have purchased a brand new camera. Um, it's a good camera. There's two cameras I was trying to pick out of. There was an, a Sony CyberShot, the brand new one, the one that's really really nice really expensive um, I was not on Black Friday and found myself in a Black Friday scam pretty much so I went down to get this camera normally like a 350 60 some odd dollar camera for two hundred dollars so uh, it was about three hundred three twenty something like that Anyways, um, you might be wondering why you're staring at the ground. I'll show you in a second. Anyways, um, so I went down to pick it up, or purchase it, and I said, yeah, I'll take this camera right here. And they said, okay, and they even pulled it out and showed it to me and showed me what it does. Um, and then they said, okay, that'll be $200 with... with this program I mean my dad kind of looked at each other and said what what do you mean this program and he said yeah you have to say that you're going to print with us and others print pictures with them for a whole year and um, you have to pay that whole year to get this some odd dollars off of this camera and me and my dad said yeah forget you Blankly, that's what we said to him. We said, yeah, forget this. This is stupid. This is a scam. Um, we'll be letting somebody know about you, which we did, and they got in trouble for it. Uh, but, um, so we left, looked around a little bit more, and there's this camera I still liked at that same shop, but it didn't have... Oh, yeah, so the reason why there's this program is by their price... Um, on their on their uh, magazine uh, there's the price and down below the price on the right about here here's the price is about here there's a little asterisk and the asterisk you're supposed to know that all the way down at the very bottom of the page there is said like with this program blah 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 so yeah screw them but then I went back and bought this program that didn't have the stupid or I bought the camera they didn't have the stupid program with it so um, it's still a good camera it's a 10, 1080p camera uh, made by Sanyo um, I'm, I'm happy I'm happy with what I got um, if I can get two hundred dollars before I go down to pick it up because he nicely enough he said that he would order it for me because most of the time it's while supplies last well he was nice enough to say, well, order it for you, you know, in advance. So when it comes in, you can come pick it up, so on and so forth. But I am I think if I get $200 and go in and say, I'd rather have this camera than this camera, then I can trade out. But I'm probably going to keep the, the camera I've purchased right now. So that's the update. And uh, so here's the next piece of what I'm going to be showing you. Um, you might be wondering, did ILS 60 buy something new? Well, you told me. What do you think that is? Is that uh, brand new to you guys? Actually, it's used. Yeah, used. Um, saw this in an ad, um, just a classified ad in my uh, local newspaper, or I mean, web, there's a website locally, uh, locally owned. But uh, so I called him up and he said, "Yeah, come down and look at it, see what you think of it." So I uh, headed down, uh, went and looked at it. I asked him, "Has he ever used it?" And he said, well, he's used it a few times. He said it works great. 
he didn't start it because it has no fuel it had no fuel in it um, he said it worked great for me he said it's yeah, I can't remember the reason why he didn't want it anymore I was just too excited looking at it you guys know what I mean you're too excited looking at something and kind of blocking off somebody else trying to tell you something but uh, yeah, he said he didn't want it anymore. He gave me gave me it for twenty five bucks. So I, so I purchased it, left, or put it in my uh, my dad's truck. We went down, or I went back to his house. I was over at his house this weekend, and uh, I put put some gas in it. Um, I was probably thinking, ah, oh, it's probably a bit seized up or something like that. No, it's actually. Excellent compression. <laughs> like it's brand new. I really don't even know if oh, that honestly that's how much the compression is. I'm pulling up pretty hard. But uh, so I put some gas in it and primed it a few times, pulled pr uh, fuel into the primer, and it actually the gas tank smelt brand new. Like it didn't feel smell like there's anything uh, in the gas tank ever. Um, so, oops, I looked around. There's really no exhaust. Um, there's really no dirt in the exhaust. I'm going to clean it up a little bit here and there. But yeah, it's practically brand new. Like, there's really nothing about it that looks used. It's just very, very, very clean. So, I'm going to call this brand new. Yes, there's a little wear on the tip here, but that's it. It's practically brand new. I'm wondering if that's a brand new bag, too. But yeah, I'm happy. Will I be able to use it in the wintertime? Probably not. I'll probably just winterize it. And Put it away for the winter time and <gasps> pull it out when I start doing lawns and <gasps> ah, sorry I keep picking um, when I start doing lawns and so on. But how this works is here's your throttle. It's a locking throttle. The further you push it, the more it goes up and it locks, and then you have to push it back. And that's full throttle there. But how this works is you get your switch here. There's a little bit of water on it. Looks like some root beer or something. I don't know. But uh, yes, I said root beer, not beer, root beer. <laughs> um, so you switch this down, and it will suck things up into dirty sock suck things up in through this it spins it goes into the uh, blades in here chops it up mulches it and puts it into the mulching bag or you can go like this switch it up and it will blow out here which is a very nice nozzle that most um, leaf blowers have anyways which I thought was way cool so you switch this down you switch this up, up like that, it blows, you push it down, and it'll suck. Pretty cool. As you can see, it's just another one of those, um, those engines that are pretty much just on any anything. If you see anything that's 31 cc's, it'll usually have an engine just like this. New, old, brand new, like vintage, I've seen everything with these engines on them. But, uh, yeah. 31cc Ryobi RGB V100. Right there. So, yeah, that's it. Practically brand new. See you later, YouTube. Bye.